from WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Despite the cold start this morning, temperatures in many areas in the 20s, we managed to get well up into the 50s for highs, enjoyed plenty of sunshine, and uh, we're enjoying clear skies at this hour as well. Not expecting any precipitation in the forecast, at least through the next 24 to 36 hours, but then some changes here as we progress through the end of this upcoming weekend. Checking out our almanac for the day today. Hey, we tied a record 58, the unofficial high at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport, and that's the current record dating back to 2015. Again, we started the day off at 23 degrees. Now we're looking at mainly clear skies in place right now, but we'll start to see some more clouds starting to filter in as we progress through the day tomorrow. Still calling for some limited sunshine, and Saturday we'll stay on the dry side, not quite as warm as what we had today. Tomorrow's temperatures generally in the 40s, but that's still above average for this time of year. We've quickly dropped down to 20 or 38 degrees in Elmira. It's 48 in Aaron, 47 in Ridgeberry. So in the deeper valley locations, we're getting that radiational cooling. And again, temperatures quickly dropping off this evening. Some of the colder pockets down to the upper 20s for lows tonight. Tomorrow up to about 48. That's our five degree guarantee, and we'll be looking at some increased cloud cover through the day. But again, we stay on the dry side and then by Sunday afternoon, rain showers develop some breezy conditions also expected the temperatures back up into the lower 50s. So here's how it plays out. High pressure departs the region heading through the day tomorrow, allowing a storm system over the Midwest and another coming up the East Coast to push into our region. And this will spread some steady and heavy rains at times our way Sunday night and through the day Monday tail end of this and uh, we'll get a shot of cooler air going into Tuesday with a brief changeover to some snow on the backside of the system. But before that happens, we're looking at a decent amount of rain headed our way again between an inch and a half and two inches of rain will be possible. No flood watch is posted just yet. There have been some issues closer to the New York City area, uh, but this could potentially result in some minor flooding issues again, especially if we get over an inch and a half of rainfall. I mentioned some snow on the tail end of the system, so for the snow lovers out there, nothing to get too excited about, but there may be an inch or two of accumulation as we go into the day Tuesday. But keep an eye on the timestamp here as we go through the rest of next week, all the way through next Friday, we're not seeing any additional accumulation, so not much in the way of snow in the forecast here over the next seven days. 55 is what we forecast today. We hit 58, which tied a record. 29 for a low tonight under clear skies, 48 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee with increasing clouds, rain for Sunday afternoon, steady and heavy at times through the day Monday, ending as some snow showers Tuesday, and then drier conditions will follow.